Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about shifting demographics and how things change over time and uh, what happens if we accept something and how that may cause something to grow. Um, I was asked a question, and I'm going to try to give uh, the person a hand with it, a left hand to be exact um because it's one of those questions that you see people asking today but if you take a step back it's it's not a question i mean it's it's really easy to see what's happening in fact most times when the question is asked the answer's in it so here's the question how do you not see that it's programming Bo? the more accepting we are of trans people the more there are. Same happened with the gays. The gays. You can't really think this is a good thing. Yeah, I do not care. This this does not bother me. The more accepting we are, the more of them exist, huh? Maybe it's just they, they always existed. And they're not hiding it now. Maybe that's what it is. I mean, that's that makes a whole lot more sense. Um, let me give you some st- some statistics about it, about gay people. In 1910, a little bit more than 3% of the population said they were gay. By 1960, it had grown to 12%. And then it leveled off. Hasn't changed since. Wait, I'm sorry. That that's that's not the the stats for gay people. That's the stats for being left-handed. See, there was a time when being left-handed, well, that was the devil's hand and all of that stuff. And they tried and tried to uh, just push it out of people. Kids that were left-handed. They would force them to uh, write with their right hand. They would do everything they could to, uh, to break who they were. Over time, people became more accepting. Superstitions and silly notions just faded away. People became more accepting. So, more people were willing to use or identify as left-handed willing to use their left hand or identify as left-handed until it, it hit the normal number, 12%. Hasn't changed since. I imagine the same thing is going to happen. I, I would imagine that it isn't programming. I would imagine that this is something that occurs. It's always been there. And because we weren't accepting of it, it was hidden. It was pushed away. They couldn't be who they were. But as we become accepting of it, more and more people are willing to step out and say, hey, I'm left-handed. Or whatever else. I personally don't... uh, see it as a bad thing I don't maybe it's just the southerner in me but that isn't my business I mean that is not my business um, that line you can't really think this is a good thing yeah I, I don't I don't think it's a bad thing it's just people doing what they want to do I don't see how that's bad or could be perceived as bad by the my freedom crowd. Um, it seems pretty clear that there were a whole lot of people who were forcing themselves to fit in a, into a role that wasn't really them. And this has been going on a long, long time. We're just more accepting of it so they can be more open about it. Nothing more. It's not some plot. You, you can find this trend 
with a whole lot of stuff. Left-handed is just the funniest, and I just saw a chart about it. Um, generally speaking, if a behavior is seen as bad, people hide it. And then as people accept it, the number goes up, and then it finds a, a happy spot and just levels off. I don't see any wrong, anything wrong with that. I don't see it as a sign of it being some plot to program us into something. It doesn't even make sense. I would be far more concerned about things that actually impact your life than what people have told you to be mad about. What people have told you is somehow an affront to you when it isn't. Be more concerned about your own life than kicking down at somebody else for living theirs. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.